At Houston University's Human Performance Lab, research scientists test the physical limits of the human body. Hi, Bill. Good to meet you. <laughs> this man, right? Can they find an explanation for Dennis Rogers' incredible strength? First, they need a seam in action. So it'd be like this. That is truly amazing. <laughs> so there. Just That's like impressive. That. That's impressive. <laughs> wow, you can still feel the heat. The scientists seem baffled by what they are seeing. I mean, should this be possible, a man bending a frying pan in his own hands? No. It, this is not normal behavior. His size and his mass really doesn't go with the type of force production that would be required to do something like that. To find out exactly how much force he's generating, the scientists asked Dennis to test his powers on a wrench a tool designed not to bend. What we're doing now is we're testing to see how much weight yep. has to be generated to bend the wrench. We have a little platform we created here. Gonna... All right, so let's add some weights. All right. So we're at 150 pounds now. 265. Yes. All right, 350 pounds. And with these three plates, that's, that's 500, 500 pounds. pounds. 500 pounds. And we have 500 pounds. You can see it's still not bent into a right angle. To bend it as far as he did, all the way around, that would require far greater strength. So even though this is a lot of weight, I don't even think it comes close to what he's producing. Uh, we're we're going to stop at 500 just because uh, I think we're getting to a safety issue at this point of this thing collapsing. We now know it takes more than 500 pounds of force to bend a wrench. We also know force equals mass times acceleration. So the force a person can generate is scientifically limited by their mass. But Dennis has a mass of less than 200 pounds. The scientists figure the key to his super strength lies in acceleration. Yes, it's pure acceleration. That's the only thing that's happening. 